Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources. So, at Republic Mode Monday, we have Geothermal Power, Old Power Plants, and Tudor Farms. Farms being farm, singular. Okay, again, of course, uh, there's a lot of beautiful modes, guys. There, especially maps, especially maps this month Monday. I'm gonna present only one of them, but please go and check out all the mods. We have amazing community. It's full of wonderful, wonderful stuff. Adds so much to the game. So go and check out the Steam Workshop and uh, get yourself something nice this Monday. So first things first, small courthouse by Robs074. It's a small courthouse based on the real building in Lublin, Poland, employs 20 workers with basic education and 12 judges. Right, classic, small classic robs, of course it comes with all the different skins that you can imagine, uh, that robs usually makes them with, so you have really large variety of choices there, from red buildings to yellow ones to whatever ones. Right, what about the cost of the building? So if we go to our... If we go to our courthouses, we're gonna see the courthouse here, 21,000. It's uh, less than half the price of the big courthouse, but as you can see, material-wise, it's definitely just a fraction of the actual build co uh, big courthouse. This is, for, of course, for your small towns, and of course, as uh, Rob's usually makes them, this is quite price realistic, so definitely gonna see this in my let's plays. Right, a large Tudor era farm includes stables, 30 horses, features rapid dispatch, allowing multiple vehicles to come and go at once. That's a large Tudor farm from Mr. Novu. Uh, added Tudor barn, added horse feeding yard, added horseshoe monument. Right, so this is uh, this is classic farm. Of course, uh, I don't have uh, I don't have actual horses here to show you how it works. I don't think I have steam engines, but you have horses as well uh, that you can put in here, and of course you have the. Um, uh, horse feeding yard over here and of course we have the uh, st additional storage additional storage for well it would be for your crops but it can, you can store multiple stuff here you can use it if you want to build two-door style city as well for other uh, storages or infrastructure and of course this is the farm of course this is the two-door style um, mr novo usually has a lot of modes like this so you have to go and check out the rest of them this is just the farm how does it compare i don't think we can even compare this to anything Thing, but let's try let's try we have a small farm over here large to door farm would be 29 29,000 that's impossible it's actually quite expensive so we have a uh, 29,000 for this to door farm and it's more expensive than the small it's it's more or less the same price as the medium sized farm wow prices for uh, farms were pricey back then well the reason why we're saying these things is we usually like to check that uh, the farm is not cheating that means uh too cheap uh in this case definitely this is not too cheap this is more expensive than the uh, rest of the farms so well it, it's above average price wise so if you want to have something nice like this you're gonna have to pony up those sweet benjamins or rubles in this case uh right more more information the link in the description of the video Right, I thought this was fictional. No. So this is again Mr. Novo. Let's stick to Mr. Novo for now. Geothermal power station based on a geothermal uh, power plant in Utrecht in the Netherlands. It produces electricity with no pollution or fuel inputs. Expensive to build but its size, but, uh, for its size but cheap to maintain. Has 3 megawatt output. Um, added and reskinned version 2. Added heating plants. Right, so these are the power plants slash heating plants. So what do they require? They require 10 people to operate, uh, normal workers. And they produce, uh, they produce energy, in this case heat, uh, in this case electricity, out of thin air. Which is fine. I have absolutely nothing against that. This is perfectly fine in my book. I I tend to use these. Uh, we're gonna check the price and everything else. So, okay, I thought this was fictional. I didn't even know that this is actually a real building. But yeah, I checked. It's a real building. It's a geothermal power plant. Uh, this uh, in real life, I'm not sure what they produce. But this one, you, you have we have two versions: stone ones for electricity and heating, and then we have this. Is this supposed to be metal one or concrete? It's a red color. Uh, I'm gonna go with metal. This is supposed to be metal. So we have these metal uh, geothermal power plants. And of course, they have the same 36 gigajoules of heat. That's not really that much. Uh, big power plants, I think they have uh, he he like 300 and something gigajoules of heat. So you're gonna need quite a few of those. And of course, they're not uh, cheap to build. We're gonna check the price soon. So, right, we have power plants, we have heating plants, some something that you, if you want to make your 
your air cleaner and you know not, not to have so much pollution uh, we have options there are other geothermal power plants but these are mr nose right so if we go and see how much they cost we can find them over here so we have geothermal power plant 75,000 rubles normal power uh, heating plant is uh, 21 210 uh, gigajoules of heat and cost 57,000 rubles to build uh, these guys are 15 percent power you're gonna have to have like seven of those uh, to, to compare it to this one and it's more expensive even one is more expensive than the than than the than the heat uh, than the heating plant so um they are they have clean air but they are quite quite pricey actually you know what let's check what uh, they cost what they cost with materials materials you need a lot of work days 70 tons of steel three tons of electrical components uh, 120 tons of concrete and 10 tons of mechanical yeah this is fair this is really nice i quite i quite support this this is really ingenious again mr novo classic his his um work is well known here but it, it's really really good i really like this it's uh thought out the price is fair and plus materials that you need it's just not just pile up a lot of materials just to make it uh, expensive but actually uh, makes sense these materials that are being used for this construction so definitely something that you're gonna see in model my let's place now if you want to go and check out the well we can compare the electricity as well but i don't think there's point to this but um <clears throat> uh i believe they are the same price uh ch -ch 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 real quickly 77,555 um, they're a little bit cheaper than the power plants but as you saw they produce only three megawatts of electricity um, only three megawatts of electricity uh, so you need to have seven of those to, co to to be competitive with the with the coal power plants and seven of these cost f half a million rubles and one power plant costs only 230,000 rubles so it's much cheaper to use dirty energy just a heads up on that so it's quite fair price wise no, description of the video for more details Mr. Mordi Slovakian and Central Bus Terminal, large bus station including four platforms for 1,000 passengers, perfect for huge cities. My ass, it's perfect for any city. Um, it's perfect for leaky cities. Uh, right, it says that he has four platforms, but looks like it has it has four platforms. Technically, this looks like a platform as well, so it would be a fifth one, maybe. Uh, also, it looks like it has slots for nine different buses at the same time. This is really, really good. Definitely, I love the design. Look at the staircases going from the waiting room rooms up here in the uh, elevated uh, waiting rooms here probably i'm pretty sure that uh, at least little passages or maybe maybe just elevated passages but uh, it looks really really beautiful um this is of course my favorite mod this mod monday oh look at the the benches here for the people waiting for the buses also really really cool uh how, do, how much does it cost how much does it cost so if you go to bus platforms normally bus platform cost three thousand seven hundred and ten thousand rubles more these more this bus platform cost thirty one thousand rubles so it's not cheap it's like uh, it's more expensive than vanilla ones which is exactly the point and uh, this is something that you're gonna see in my let space definitely you're gonna definitely see this in my let's place look how much bigger it is from a vanilla one really really beautiful model link in the description of the video Mr. Robs and Police Station. Police Station, based on a real building in Dynsk, Poland, employs nine workers with basic education and 18 investigators can be equipped with four vehicles. Uh, there's a description in Polish as well. Now, of course, Robs is mod. I'm pretty sure it's fair in price. We're going to check that anyway. And of course, uh, it's, uh, it should be fair in price. And of course, it comes with all the different skins that you wish, all the different colors, dark, dark gray, light gray. And of course, you have colorful models with beige or whatever the colors are I, i'm bad at it uh anyway no red no red really well this is kind of red ish uh no this this is kind of red okay let's call it that this is red uh comes in red color as well okay let's check the price if we go to the government buildings we have a police station this is a new police station 14 000, 15 000 rubles it is uh, half the price of the vanilla one but it has also um it's much much smaller yeah this actually looks like it's should be more expensive look how big this building is it's only twice the price of the of, of this police station anyway of course as usual quite realistic and we'll see this in my let's place 
Polish Flats Pack by Negabz Kezui. <laughs> Sorry about butchering your name again. I know it's a play of words and it's reversed. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna read the description. F pack includes four, three. I'm not gonna read the description. It's description how many uh, buildings are there, what their capacity is, how many staircases they have. I'm gonna explain everything over here uh, without reading the description. We have five, four, three, and two entrances per building or staircases uh, per building, and we have four floors and five floors. Now, why this why this mod? Because I freaking lived in one of these buildings. Well, quite, quite similar. It was actually a little bit bigger. It was like this size and it had only two entrances. Maybe this size with two entrances it would be something like that. And it had freaking 80 apartments. I believe it was 80 apartments in the whole building. It, it was enormous. I mean, like, it, it's enormous. They were really small apartments, but they were really, really... Um, I like them. I like living there. For single people, even for two people living there, it would be... Ooh, amazing. Anyway, uh, these buildings uh, are beautiful. I, I love them, and it's definitely one of my favorite mods, and I'm gonna be using it in my Let's Plays. Okay, what about the buildings itself? They have more or less calculated six apartments per floor, and we're gonna take the smallest one in the calculations, so if we have 48 people uh, in a building divided by two, because usually two people will live in an apartment, so that would be 24, and divided by four, that would be six. Six per floor. Six, uh, six apartments per floor, how did I, how they are, uh, arranged i really don't know but it doesn't really matter maybe one entrance has actually smaller apartments and the other entrance has bigger apartments so it would be four on this side of the building and only two on the other side i don't know maybe it's a little bit more luxurious setup anyway uh they go all the way to 150 people for the biggest buildings of course uh, we can compare them to something in vanilla so for example we have a uh, flats bricks would this be oh, yeah something like this for example it's similar size but it has a little bit bigger capacity how does this work? Looks like it's a little bit more compact because this building that I'm uh, holding it's four floor and this one is five floor. They look quite similar though. Interesting, quite interesting. Uh, this could be Stalinka style with the higher roofs. But anyway, uh, let's see uh, what we have here. This is again 100 and here we go 143 people so 1000 11000 11000 rubles of course it takes a much more uh, space the the uh, this building takes a little bit more space, so it's gonna. It, it is a downside. Well, how much does it cost? The biggest of these buildings they cost a nine thousand rubles, so it's quite comparable to the vanilla building. So it's definitely not a cheaty mod. Link in description of the video for more details. And old power plant, nineteen thirties by Marius. Cold power plant which employs twenty six workers, producing twelve. Uh, 0.6 megawatts historical data it provides high voltage and two low voltage connections so that's one high voltage and two low voltage connections it uses aggregates uh, conveyors linked to the main input to vehicle stations as auxiliary it might be useful to as a medium plant for early stages of the game not too expensive for uh, nor too much consumption for the for the historical time frame but quite considerable pollution also have the high voltage transformer building uh, added to work as a standalone the role yada 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 i'm gonna show you all of this little story it was modded it approximately you know what no it's from northern spain oh wow i didn't know that but anyway i'm gonna tell you this go and read more description in the link in the, uh, in the link is in, in the description of the video so go and visit this mod it's absolutely beautiful it reminds me of something like in anno uh, that fits in Nano, and I'm really happy that they uh, that he added the uh, the substation. I'm gonna show you the whole model now. So you have two different uh, you have two different uh, buildings. It's a power plant over here. It's 126,000 rubles, 125,000 rubles, and substation is three uh, 3,500 rubles. So if you want to build your starter city, it doesn't even have to be early start. It could be normal start, but this could be one of your first power plants there, because you know. You don't have to build it then. It was built in 1930s. You just uh, inherited the, the power plant. So it's really, really good for your um, realism gameplays and if you want to do something like that. But anyway, uh, really, really beautiful model, like I said. And we're going to just compare the prices of this. So we have, again, price is 124,000. I can tell you straight away that it's half the price of the, of the big power plant. If we go for power plants, the big one is... 243,000, let's say 250,000, so this is half the price of this one, and production is a little bit more than half, because this one has, no, 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 it's half, actually, it has 24 megawatts, I believe, the other one, or 21, 
Yeah, you need to correct me if I'm wrong here. But anyway, it's it's quite it's around half of the production. And let's see the consumption. 20 tons of coal is consumption, while the vanilla one, the bigger one, would be 24 tons of coal. So you can see, yeah, you can see that it's more or less half of the, a little bit more than half of the production, but it consumes almost the same amount of coal. So it will produce pollution as well, significant pollution. I'm just going to see if we can see from here, power plant, uh, the pollution is 35 tons per year, while the vanilla one is 39 tons a year. Yeah, it's significantly more consumption of coal and significantly more pollution, well, per production. So it's, it's really, really dirty, but hey ho, you know, yeah, somebody has to pay the price. Why not your people? Anyway, uh, realistic price, beautiful model, amazing mod. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. Guys, check out the link in the description of the video. Right, I give you Jena, Thuringia, Germany by... Arkin 45, right, really, really beautiful map, German map, of course, there's a lot of beautiful maps, but I'm not going to talk about that, please go and check all of them out, there's really, really amazing maps, some of them you're going to really like, but I chose this one, inspired by a uh, Thuringian forest map created by I.A. Emuel and decided to create a map uh, of Jena, a city located in Thuringia in a scale of 1 to 1, I guess because the resource placement isn't the easiest map to play, but I don't want to make it even more unrealistic by littering the map with uh, easy accessible resources everywhere. That being said, the resource is available on the, um, every resource is available on the map, and it, uh, with uh, enough effort, it can be mined. That being said, I hope you'll have fun creating a lovely Republic of Vienna. Uh, P.S. The river sale might be shippable if you'll check the comment section. No, it's not. Uh, but I have uh, I haven't tested it yet. Edit as mentioned in the comments. Yes, the river seems not to be shippable for now. Yeah, it's too it's uh, it's too narrow. I have to say, uh, the river is too narrow, and it's uh, visibly that it's. I'm, it's not it's not shippable definitely but uh, then that doesn't change the fact that it's a really really beautiful map and uh, i really really like it so let's check the resources on the map uh, it has one big river in the middle it has coal deposits a lot of coal deposit but poor quality i like that challenging not a lot of iron again uh challenging oil not a hundred percent beautiful this is amazing i love this i love this this is challenging 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 and then we have uranium a little bit on the shores of the river perfect and we have bauxite <clears throat> again it's uh, not in significant resources so it's going to be uh, challenging to play this map beautiful beautiful absolutely stunning i really really like that potentially could be one of my next let's plays but so let's see um uh, let's see what we have uh, what the terrain looks like i was actually interested in this hillside here how flat it is or not uh, where the oil is based here it looks like it's decently flat that's nice if you press f2 it has this vanilla game <laughs> angled um, uh, uh, contours or or topographical map it, you can see that, that there's a, a little bit of vanilla in there it doesn't have smooth transitions like well like some other maps but it, it has really really challenging terrain i really like that uh, if we had the liquid water on this map this would be beautiful to place couple of rivers going downstream through the canyons as well but unfortunately no liquid water so terrain is is challenging decently challenging i like that uh, and of course the resources here let's check where the oil is in front of us is oil let's see how much oil we can get what's the percentage of oil what do you say guys i say we will not pass 20 percent i might uh, I might be wrong there, but let's check it. Oh, 40%. Okay, that's not bad. Wow, okay, 40%. I was so wrong. 40%. Do we have anything else? Let's see, 37. That's a decent resource. Uh, the Robs puts even less. Like, Robs, like uh, or on Robs' map, the oil, like, it's like 20%. If you get 20% or 15%, you're lucky. But here it's a little bit more, so it is, it's going to be challenging, but um, uh, definitely we have something to hope for. Really, really beautiful. Anyway, uh, let's not go any further. I wanted to just finish up with saying we have, uh, how many here? We have Soviet border over here. We have one, two border crossing. We have one in the south here. Soviet border crossing, a big one. Uh, electricity, we have, I think it's only one here. I don't see any. Here we go. There's one over here as well. And then we have NATO on north electricity and electricity over here. So we have decent amount of border crossings, three on each side. Uh, some of them have uh, railroad connections. Some of them don't. Let me check these two Soviet ones, which are the more, more most important ones. Uh, this one doesn't have. 
and the last one over here it doesn't have as well so you have only one railroad crossing but that's fine that's perfectly fine anyway beautiful beautiful map by arkin 45 go and check it it's link in the description of the video and i really hope you enjoyed this one if you did guys don't forget to press the like button if you didn't you have always option to put a nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think like subscribe notification bell ring it comment section hit it and if you want to support the channel you always have the description of the video guys happy monday and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye